At Acme Building Supply, we believe that our customers are the heart of our business. We value your feedback and strive to use it to improve our products and services. Nah, wait a minute. Beer companies claim all the time that they value a customer's feedback. But do they really listen? In most cases, they do not. And we know that the stakes are high. And companies that actively and systematically listen to their customer are at a huge competitive advantage. The surge in voice analytic solutions can be attributed to three main factors. One, advancements in artificial intelligence, including some new cutting edge language models. Two, enhanced computational power. And three, robust cloud data storage and sharing. It's why Versalytics has partnered with LivePerson, Snowflake, and Tableau to deliver a scalable, quickly deployed solution for audio. Now, organizations can quickly learn 100% of their customer voice interactions. This allows you to understand key call drivers, competitor mentions, can even help you understand your customer's emotions. And it allows you to predict what will happen with your customer. So let's see it in action. I'm going to hand it over to Bridget Cogley, our Chief Visualization Officer and Co-Founder here at Versaletics. Bridget is also a Tableau Visionary Hall of Famer and author of the book, Functional Aesthetics of Data Visualization, a book she recently co-wrote with the Head of Research at Tableau. Thanks, Jeff. Contact centers are a key component to how we interact with our customers. Yet far too often, we lack true line of sight into what customers are saying, with most of that information only available through screening a fraction of our calls. What if we could easily get the whole picture and see what our customers are saying? We could then listen to gain clarity rather than hoping to find insight. In today's example, we dig into our fictional restaurant, Los Pollos Hermanos, which offers quick serve Tex-Mex food. As a QSR throughout the country, Los Pollos Hermanos fields a number of calls from our customers regarding their experience. Today, we'll explore what those experiences have been like. Our first dashboard explores an omni-channel view of the many ways our customers interact with Los Pollos Hermanos. This overview gives us a view of the four ways we communicate through calls to the call center, discussions via chatbot, email, and general web feedback. On the left, we can explore these interactions by call center, SLA adherence, and reasons for contact. This dashboard provides us a high-level overview of all of our interactions. Let's start digging into what's happening with calls. In our overview tab, we can explore some key statistics at a glance, such as number of calls, average handle time, average talk rates, call change in sentiment, and silence ratios. Call change in sentiment helps me identify where customers may have called in angry, but hung up happier. Higher numbers are better, while low sentiments, like these two data points, highlight a potential problem. As we hover, we see that our talk rate for these two days is also too fast. No one likes when agents speak like auctioneers. As we shift to the lower part of the dashboard, we can see key mentions with the overall sentiment around them and how often they come up. To the right of that chart, we have the top words colored by sentiment. For both charts, purple is positive while orange is negative. We can see one location, Brownsville, has an extremely negative sentiment. When we click on it, we can see things like curbside and pickup potentially have gone awry quite a bit. Moving to dish, we can see severe allergic reactions associated with the chicken piccata. Moving to our customer services dashboard, we can dig deeper into what allergy problems we're seeing. Keeping our customers safe and healthy is essential, and this helps us identify problem menu items. We can select allergy from our call driver's chart. In our call ownership graph, calls without an allergy mention fade to the background, while we can see the various calls with mentions of allergies remain in the foreground. In our key mentions topics, we see reaction at the bottom of the chart with a low sentiment at about the 20% mark for when it's mentioned in a call. We can clearly see customers are calling in regards to allergies. When we click on this, we see a chart showing for the discourse patterns. 
where customers mention the reaction and where agents may even clarify. We can hover and see a transcript. Let's go ahead and listen to Eric Estrada's call. From the emergency room, my son just had your children's um, chicken piccato and we've checked the ingredients a hundred times, it's clear to you, and he is having an allergic reaction. In a few clicks, we unpacked what countless hours of listening to calls may not reveal. We can also explore how agents are doing and put that information into context with other data we've got available. Here, we can see we hired Hank Williams 11 years ago, and his last review shows he's clearly loved by his peers. We can pull in customer satisfaction data from surveys and ensure we're getting a fuller picture. As always, we can go to Hank's calls and see how things are going. Gathering product sentiment has historically been difficult. With this solution, we can see at a glance how our customers feel about our products. What's going on with the three meat biggie? When we click, we can see all of the words used around the menu item, where the mentions typically fall in call and sentiment. Words like burn are concerning, so let's take a closer look in conversation dynamics. We can hover through the turns, seeing first where the three meat biggie is mentioned. So it didn't look like there was maybe a burnt piece of meat or potentially or something in your three meat biggie and it chipped? We can see the customer interrupts, maybe, yes, and the agent continues, your tooth and the restaurant was not clean? We found a very concerning call, one that includes a chipped tooth and a dirty restroom. We can continue to explore the transcript or we can even listen to the call directly to glean more information. Did we handle this call with the care that it deserves? In our last dashboard, we'll dig into the emotional journeys seen within calls. We'll explore how our customers feel through five emotions, happiness, fear, surprise, sadness, and anger. Below, we can see a radar chart scored and averaged by the strength of these emotions appearing. Our calls are likely to include a mix of these emotions, and it's helpful to get a sense of the overall shape that our calls take. If all emotions were equal on a call, we'd have a pentagon. We have a star of sorts, one without much depth towards anger. Our emotions do not occur within a silo. We express an emotion, someone responds back with one or more of their own, and that affects how we feel. We may lean deeper into anger if we don't feel heard or calm into sadness, or even towards joy if we receive empathy. Our emotional responsiveness chart identifies the primary emotions seen within a turn, letting us see the arc of emotions throughout a call. When we click on anger, we drill down to the calls with at least one episode of that emotion. We can see how the distribution in the radar changes. We can click on a conversation to see that call's individual plots. We can also hover over turns of interest and see what our customers are saying. In this example, we can see the customer is angry about cold food. These tools allow us to understand what our customers are saying quickly and easily. They provide us the ability to draw insight from both voice and vision. Back to you, Jeff. Thanks, Bridget, for the great demo. To learn how easy we've made it for you to listen to your customer, Please visit us at versalytics.com to schedule a demo and to also schedule a proof of concept. We founded Versalytics with a mission to help people be successful with analytics. And we accomplished this through consulting, helping our customers find great talent for their organization, and providing end-to-end -end solutions like you just saw in this video, with a lot more to come.